Today I'm going to start this episode with a metaphor and one that I've kind of just learned or I'm experiencing, I'm experiencing this, this metaphor. So, oh, it's so cold up here. I'm currently on the way to Penrith, which is on the, uh, on the A66. The A66 is the main road that cuts across the Pennines and goes from the north of England all the way up to, to kind of the M6 and on the way to Scotland. Now this is a road that I travelled almost, well not daily, but weekly. I travelled this weekly when I was training back in 2013 and 14 for the Commonwealth Games. Basically going from my house to Glasgow. So if you imagine my house being point A and Glasgow being point B, I wanted to get there as quick as I could. So it didn't really matter about the journey. I didn't care what scenery I passed. All I wanted to do was get from my house to Glasgow as quick as possible. And today I'm on that same road and, and it hit me and this is something that happens in my life almost all the time. No matter what I do, whether it's, an, it's a new job or it's an experience or a new hobby or a new sport or whatever I'm trying. I always want to get from point A to point B as quick as possible. I always want to get from my house to Glasgow as quick as possible. I want to get from being a beginner to being an expert as quick as possible. And and, and right in the middle of all that is, is where all the beauty is, is where all the magic is. It's, you know that quote, um, it's not about the destination but the journey. That's so true. Life on a, on a scale from point A to point B. Point A being born and point B being dead. You don't want to rush that experience. You don't want to miss everything that's in the middle. And that goes back all the way on a, on a micro level to this journey. Now, the amount of times I've passed these roads and passed these stunning views is, I can't believe I've never stopped and just taken it in. So today I stopped and I took it in. And I think you'll agree. It's a phenomenal view. I often wonder if that's why I enjoyed racing so much. Because a race is point A to point B as quick as you can. Anyway, the whole point of that was just to say that I'm going to try and enjoy the journey more. Not just trying to get to the destination in whatever it is I'm trying to do. It's 5am in the morning, I'm here in the Lake District and I think this is the first time I've ever been to the Lake District. It's stunning! I mean it's cold, I've got two coats on, it's absolutely freezing and there's guys walking around in cycling shorts. But anyway, it's 5am, it's Sunday morning. So it can only mean one thing. Another sportive. Check this guy out. Cycling shorts. Cycling shorts. So this climb is two and a half kilometers. It's 10% gradient average. 24, 23% maximum. It's brutal. Keep going. Hard not pass, 30%. It's just a wall. I've literally walked 25 meters up from here, down where the cattle grid is, and I'm out of breath. And these guys have ridden 95 miles. And they've still got another climb to go. But we don't want to say that too loud. We don't want any of them to realize that. Crazy. What do I make? Keep going. When we went up the first climb, everyone was like, yeah, thanks, thanks for the support, thank you, come on, yeah, having a laugh. And now they get to this point, nobody's laughing. Would you want to try it? Uh, no. 
<laughs> this is ridiculous. seen so many people in so much pain ever <laughs> that was the feat of 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 human ability because there's people there who obviously haven't trained. There's people there who are clearly unfit to be doing this, but some of those roads that were going up were just unbelievable. And uh, I think everybody who's finished this um, deserves a huge pat on the back because that was really, really difficult. Daddy! Hello, buddy. I mowed you alone. Oh, thank you. Come and give me a kiss. I thought you didn't shout at you. You didn't shout at me? Mm -hmm. Give me a kiss. Oh, your face looks nasty. You okay? Take your glasses off. Oh, out. sorry, bud. <laughs> well, why you got this on? So I started this episode with a metaphor. And that metaphor was... It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. That was it. But I've got a new metaphor because after being up from half past three in the morning driving all around the Lake District for 100 miles then driving 170 miles back down to home this metaphor is the journey it's all about Well, I was going to say it's about the destination, but... Hey, come here! Nothing if I didn't have you Let's dance